Appearing on the same Granada series was a group of youngsters fast making a name for themselves on the Britpop scene in 1994. After a year of relentless rehearsals at my old haunt, the Night and Day Cafe in Manchester, Marion had started to impress others elsewhere. All right, John. Managed by Joe Moss, the man who guided the Smiths to the big time, managed to base Marion recently signed to London Records. The recent gig at Camden's Dublin Castle was attended by Morrissey and our film crew, who caught a band that looked ripe for the attention of the bedsit generation. Honestly, say for us three, we're uh, ourselves most when we're on stage. And we just do everything we can to give the best show we can, so... Yeah, we're not a band that um, play our guitars, stare at the floor. We want to give the audience a good show. Time as opposed to feel working um, in a chippy and me washing up or whatever. Yeah, I can buy new strings now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to play without a tune harmonica anymore as well. Yeah. <laughs> and Phil's got a nice new army jacket. Yeah. 